Okay. He said, I, I, he said, you know, get rid of your phone and all that kind of stuff, too. Well, yes, he was very strong on that. However, I thought overnight, and I'd like to ask him, are supposedly the Article Three judges are, are among the people who are out of the system. And I would imagine they're not doing without electricity or cable or phones. So that maybe there is, is some equivalent to getting a green passport and uh, the equivalent of a driver's license to be able to get an account that is not tied to the Social Security. Right, without but having to part, get... They, uh, uh, it could be that they won't tell Stop. you if that's what they're doing, and it's probably a danger to, to try to do that. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to give up all my relatives. I've got some that I'm still pretty close to that, you know, aren't going to try and stop me, and I'm not even, I don't even talk to them about this, so they wouldn't know the difference anyways. But, yeah, I'm trying to manage some of them are elderly and trying to keep up with them or much less give them a new phone number. That just would not work. <laughs> uh. So, um, if I can possibly keep my phone number, I'd like to, but, you know, but if I have to give it up, I guess that's not too big a price to pay, right? Well, I bet you there's, there's some ways around that, and I, I imagine that the judges don't give up their phone number. Or the judges do have. They may have to change it. They may have to do it under a different situation, and they will have okay. to pass that out. Got it. Yeah, there's got to be some way to do that because they're not living without creature comfort. Right. And I understand all kinds of rich people are on uh, have black cards, or at least some. Uh-huh. And I would, imag- I would imagine they're not giving up flying on airplanes. Well, maybe once we get the green passports and stuff, then, you know, we can travel like they do and have to do, um, be able to could, move around and travel. That, that could be. That could solve that problem. And paying for it in cash and uh, doing it that way, yes. It's Patrick. I'm online. Hi, Patrick. How are you? Okay. We we were discussing, uh, I I thought overnight that the judges, Article 3 judges are out of the system. Are they doing without electricity and phones, or is there some system equivalent to being on on a green list that uh, allows them to get a phone not associated with a Social Security number? You don't worry about that, Tom. Okay. Uh, You worry worry about about yourself, okay? Okay. Well, yeah, I'm worrying about myself. Okay. Now, this goes out to all people on the site. Okay. I am here now officially banning Tom from having any more phone calls until he gets his own shit done and he's not to do anything more on the site. All the stuff is up there on the site. He is not to do anything more on the site until he gets his shit done. I'm doing it. You got that, Tom? I'm doing it. Yes, I'm doing it. Okay. I don't want to hear you do anything more on this site until you get your stuff done. Okay. Okay? Yes. And... The other people, you don't hear what the hell I'm talking about. Okay? The audios are there. The answer is there. The forms are there on the site. The words are there for you to understand what's going on. Now, either you do it or basically get up. But there's not going to be any more phone calls. There's not going to be any more kissing your butt for you. Get out there and do it. And listen to the damn tapes. You go off half-cocked thinking you know what the hell you're doing, and you don't. You hear something... 
They see him one ear and out the other, and then you're off doing something entirely different. Tried to make this as simple as possible for you guys, okay? To follow along in the footsteps. And I was following right along in the biblical footsteps of some of the great people in the Bible. That's what I was basing my path on, to try and get the understanding of what they were doing in their process. I told you it's all about the damn money, okay? Now, they set up this foreign alien entity, a numbered person, as a corporation in the process to access our assets. At the same time in doing that, they created a foreign enemy because the foreign enemy is now a commercial endeavor that is using commercial commerce instead of just commerce to declare war upon the living. And that's why our assets are... And everything is done by fraud. We can prove the fraud now. This is what you never had before. You never had the proof. You were claiming it, but you never had the real proof. And I've tried to put it down on black and white for you. Guys are just like a bunch of little kindergartners. A lot of cases worse than that. Should be taken out behind the wood pile and spanked about a half dozen times. I know I was when I didn't listen. So this is the final call. You better have your questions ready for tonight, okay? If you've got any, start asking them. Now. Patrick? Yes. I have a couple of questions for you. So I misstated the question. I, one of the questions I asked last night, but that's neither here nor there. The question is this. If I'm working for an employer and I'm a key employee, um, how do I finish out what I need to finish out for them before I say I'm gone? Because I'm due to be finished probably August, September. Without creating hassles or problems for them and for myself, because I don't want to leave them in the lurch. What, what are you going to do? Okay. I, okay, so this Are you working to... under a social security number or something? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Well, if you surrender everything and you come out of the system, then you just convert over and continue working for them. But now you're okay. working for them under lawful pay. Okay. They just can't use your access, your Social Security account, and if they don't like it, quit. Okay? You're not going to deal with an, a, with an enemy of the country any longer. If they want to be an enemy, let them be an enemy. Forget this Mrs. Mrs. Knight's person shit, okay? You're in a war, okay? You got that you right now? I, I got it right. I hear you loud. Okay, now know. what's your next question? My next question is I called the county where I was born, and I actually was talking to Tom about this before you came on, um, to try and get the book and page number today. And my county says that those records don't they don't have them, it's only at the state. But talking right before the call started, um I guess that maybe I, I called um 
the registry for, you know, vital statistics registry, and I guess I may have called the wrong place. Maybe I should call the land record. Well, you call the county recorder's office. Okay. And you ask for the birth certificate book, and you want to know what the book and page number of your entry is in that record under the Freedom of Information Act. Okay, if they don't have a recorder's office, do you go go to the county clerk? They what? If they don't have a county recorder's office, they have a county clerk, but not a county recorder. They've got a recorder's office. What what state are you dealing with? Massachusetts. Well, there's another colonial system, Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're probably going to have to go to the state Commonwealth Department. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Why in the hell were you born in that damn state? Hey, it's not my fault. Yeah, I chew your parents out for that one. <laughs> I'll tell them you said so. <laughs> yeah, my parents, my great great grandparents knew the hell to get away away from Massachusetts and Pennsylvania, both of those damn Commonwealth places. Of course, they were Irish when they came over. <laughs> they knew about the damn Commonwealth shit. Yeah, Commonwealth is nothing but communism. Communalism. So, yes, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, I don't think Virginia is that bad. I think they've gone back to the county, but uh, it's hard to say. Hmm. Okay, any other questions? This is maybe a little bit irrelevant, but somebody who I know is trying to get on is having access issues dialing in. Having access? I don't know. Tom, are all the lines full? Shouldn't be. They dial in the right number? Uh, Using the right code? Five five nine seven two six twelve hundred. 1200 The access code is 111106. Eleven eleven oh six pound. Yeah, pound. Uh, well, that's at the end. If, if yeah, they're having, sure if they're hitting a pound. If they're having they, trouble, they should call uh, free conferencing support and okay. have them try to connect when they're on the line. Okay. Are they calling in by phone or trying to use a flash phone? By phone. Well, uh, no, they a shouldn't few have people, a problem. A few people are having trouble with the flash phone, and I've suggested that uh, call in during the day sometime and ask them to connect you to this room. Uh, there won't be anybody there, but help have them help you connect to the room and uh, to figure out yeah, the problem. They can then. always listen to the audio later at uh, 12.99. Right. But right, if you okay. do, uh, do it. During the, during the day, don't try to do it the last minute just before you get on the call. Okay. Now, there won't be any more calls. Mm. Don't you remember I just banned the calls? Yes. Okay. After we have the group party of people that get out in the next couple of weeks, then we'll think about having something else. Go in that court case, okay? That damn number, the driver's license number, the social security number, the those are normally the two numbers that basically you're going into any court on, okay? They're corporations. They're foreign corporations. The name and basically a corporation is a person. So that is the person that's really being hauled into the court. Like that one definition I had up there on the definitions about going into court. You come into court under this fictitious scenario, and you try and put something real into the court, and you're going to be held in contempt of court because it's a fictitious court to begin with. 
That's how they get you into uh, going to jail. And then also, you come in and you intervene into the damn process saying, hey, I'm the surety for this guy. And basically right there, you just hung yourself. You volunteered to be there. You have to surrender that corporation, that numbered person, and turn it over to the court. Say, here, I'm surrendering this foreign alien. I am no longer going to sponsor him. He's now in your jurisdiction. You take care of him. You either deport him or you settle the matter for him. But I'm no longer going to sponsor this shithead. See, people make things too damn complicated. They want to argue. They love to show how stupid they are, and that's a fact. Not how smart you are, how stupid you are. Open mouth, insert both feet. That's the mentality of man and women are right behind them. Okay, that's my pitch for now. Any more questions? You need to listen to that call last night, okay? And the call, previous calls. But the call last night talking about the aliens situation. And the number, the name, the numbers game. We have to surrender all numbers. We were not born with a number. We get rid of them all. Then we are born with our recorded birthing in the land records. We are an American land trustee to the American Land Trust, Birthing Trust. There's also a dead trust, a dead land trust. And that's where your uh, deceased relatives are under, in that land trust. And then, if you were in the military, there is a military 214 military Bounty or discharge land trust. And these are all at the county recorder's office. Do not go to the clerk of the court. It's the county recorder you have to go to to find out the book and the page number of your entry. The certificate of registration was for an alien, not for you. The definition in Ballantimes about certificate of registration states it right there. A certificate required for an alien to register. Doesn't have anything else about little Johnny or little Susie needing to be on there. It was talking about an alien. And basically, a corporation can be an alien, born of foreign parents. Got to know how the game is played. And that's all it is. It's a game. Okay, 
Questions? I thoroughly pissed everybody off again early tonight, or what? I'm getting okay, good. This is going to sound stupid, but I'm going to ask it anyways. You said get rid of all numbers, including phone numbers? You can keep the phone number, but don't give it out. Okay. Okay? And then as soon as you get some funds out, you go and get about a half dozen phones, but don't activate them until you throw the other one away that you have activated. Just like in the movies. I went in to, uh, to add my mom, and she went into a grocery store, wrote a checkout, no problem. Didn't have her ID there, but no problem. They didn't ask her for it. Got to this other store, they wanted her ID. Uh, she couldn't, uh, didn't have it with her. Uh, wanted to know uh, what her social security number. She couldn't remember that. Uh, and... Uh, driver's license. She couldn't remember what her driver's license was. So basically, uh, the clerk asked her, well, what's your phone number? Well, she just changed, got a new phone number. Well, luckily, I had it on my phone. So I pulled out my phone. I looked it up. I gave it to him. And basically, lo and behold, the phone number tied right in to her account. I knew it would, but it was just proof that it does. Okay. See, they've got numerous different ways to put a track upon you. Mm -hmm. To get identity theft away from you. That's why in so many of the movies out there, the guys are pitching the phone after they make contact or whatever, so that basically they can't track them or whatever. Okay. Now, I have a question for you on the document itself, the third notice of reentry revision, because I'm just looking through it now. Uh, on the page where there's a copy of your certificate of birth registration, is it supposed to read the original lawful American birth bed testamentary to your trustee officer? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Is it supposed to read the original? Okay, so um, inheritance from the original lawful American birth bed testamentary to your trustee? Is that what it's supposed to read? You're talking about where I talk about my hospital birth certificate? Yeah, because I said birth If you don't CIRC. have that, you use your Bible entry. Okay. Now, this is on the page where there's a copy of your certificate of birth registration. Yeah. Okay, and it says BIRT, B-I-R-T, B-E-D, testamentary, does your trustee, Officer Patrick Devine? Shouldn't it be birth bed, B-I-R-T-H? Well, I don't know, probably. Okay. I make mistakes. Uh, (laughs) Don't use those templates as a hard fact, okay? Okay. They're guidelines. Okay. Okay? You reword it in your own words of understanding. Okay. It took me a while to get that understanding. And I know damn well that most of you won't have my understanding for what I've got there, even though I tried to give it to you. Okay. Mhm. Anybody else? Yeah, I see Patrick uh in that document you still have the uh word testament testamentary and that uh, you replayed that with the alien controller, if I remember. I have to go back and check. Well, I thought I took that out in the last one that I sent to you. Uh I left it in in one place, okay? 
No, this this is on. You got to look uh, at the definitions of what it what the definitions about customary, okay? okay, capacity, okay. One I left in there about my customary or whatever uh, capacity, customary. okay, right. and that means that you are of clear mind and understanding. You are able to write a will, okay. Yeah. Read the definitions. See why I left some things in and why I took them out. And I was trying to take some things out to make it clearer as I came across new words like the alien in the process and the understanding there and then also about the land trust and then seeing that basically the uh, tr the big three trustees are basically uh, now classified as homeland trustees. Okay, so they're the trustees of the American homeland, and we are the land trust trustees. Okay. Go ahead. Someone had a question? Okay. Go ahead and end it, Tom. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. But you, you stop Tom. everything, Tom, and get your own stuff done. Yes. I'll be you're, you're, you're wearing yourself down trying to do everything here uh, for the group, okay? So I don't want to hear anything more about you getting in there and uh, getting into arguments or anything like that with the people on the group. You just take care of your shit. And your shit alone. I think I can do it tomorrow morning. I've got all. I've got it all, all hey, my, you can't hey, do hey, it hey, all hey, in hey, one day, okay? I couldn't do it all in one day, okay? I think I have it almost already, but I, I'll, 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 I'll yeah, probably spend I will probably. I thought day. I did too. I thought I had it all ready to go out on uh, last Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I didn't finish it up until this morning. Okay, so that's three days, Tom. Wow, okay. And I'm that's good. Right. And you're not. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm not that good. <laughs> that's so, it. Maybe a week. Too, okay? Maybe a week I have you a might get it done. <laughs> Patrick? Yes, go ahead. And then we still do our um, left and right index fingerprints under the living proof left, right witness, correct? I put, uh, yes, the left and right, and then I also put a three-cent stamp down there. Okay. And then embossed over all uh, four. Okay. So do I have to have an embosser before I can do this, or can I just cancel the stamp? Well, basically, uh, uh why didn't you have an embosser? Um, because I'm relatively new to the group and I haven't had a chance to get one yet. I've only been in here a couple of weeks. Well, basically, you can go down to Staples or Office Depot and for about uh, uh, 20 or 30 bucks, uh, get one. And, uh, right. I mean, Tony the Tagger on it. Just make it your personal embosser. Okay, I'll go get one in the morning. <laughs> I mean, that's, these things are simple. We don't have to make them too damn complicated. It, once it's ours, it's ours. Okay? We're the creator. Okay? Right. So, let's start creating. You could use a ring as an embosser. Yeah, if you can basically get an in, imprint into it. Okay? Like if you put a... Uh, hard rubber behind it, 
uh, behind the sheet of paper, and then you have a ring that has an impression in it, and then basically uh, put the paper down and then put uh, the uh, ring to it or flip it upside down to where uh, the impression stands out on the upper side. Think about these things. There's different ways around a lot of this stuff. Got it. You had a question, Harold? Hey, Pat, this is Harold. Yeah. Would you explain your understanding of why Moses did not go into the promised land, please? Okay. What took place and why Moses didn't go into the promised land, okay? He got the people out of Israel or out of Egypt, okay, under the favoritic monetary system. He went up to the mountain, basically came back down. Well, basically they uh, got Aaron to uh, uh, go back into the monetary system, the commercial monetary system, and set up the calf, getting them under all these numbered contracts out here. So Moses got rid of that and said, well, basically now I'm going to make you walk the desert for about 40 years and try and learn what the hell's going on. Well, after 40 years, they got close to the promised land, and basically the people were still nitwits, okay? They still wanted the damn theoretic system. So basically he turned them over to Jeremiah and let Jeremiah take them into the promised land under the commercial system using the damn commercial system to go in and conquer these other countries, just like they're doing to this country, with false debt and everything. But people can't read that in the Bible, but I can, because it fits. It fits all the other stories about how they took control, how they entered in the Trojan horse how it came in and got in through the gate. Okay? It's all the same story over and over again. And this is, this number is the Trojan horse just destroying America. It's the Pharaohs coming in to destroy America. Not the Jews, the Pharaohs, the Pharaohs, the falsehoods, the numbers, the number crunchers. The old saying about the numbers or an accountant. Basically, you can make any set of numbers uh, read anything. That might have been why I didn't go and become an accountant in junior college. It's because I really wanted the truth. And I don't think an accountant can ever tell you the truth. Ask another question? Yeah. As it pertains to OID, it's like a 1099 OID process that may have done been done incorrectly. Um... Will this help me correct that? No, you don't. You don't worry about it. You let it go. If they try and charge you with anything, you surrender that number. See, it wasn't yours to begin with. You say I'm not. I'm no longer sponsoring that foreign alien, that Social Security, or that EIN number. Deport him. Okay? Okay. You need to have clean hands, and that means you need to give up all numbers. So with the OID process, 
Uh, you you don't do the OID there. process. What if you've already uh, done it? It's, that's why I'm saying it's a dead issue right now. You forget it, okay? If it's done, it's done. When you put this shit in that I've got right now, it'll take care and close all that shit down. Because when you surrender the Social Security number, when you surrender the EIN, whenever you surrender everything, all numbers, those old IDs go away too. He just told you the answer twice. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I think I was asking Patrick that question. Yeah, but Scrooge can jump in there. He's right. Okay? Anybody that's right can jump in. Okay? Should have listened. Okay, well, I'm not. I'm, right. I'm not knowing. I'm just coming to that's the group. The question I'm not knowing. Twice he gave the answer so, twice. Okay. Well, there's somebody else who's brand new today to the group who's asking another question as well. So obviously, I'm not the only one that had the question. Okay. You know that. Is the is the is the question answered now? Yeah, I understand. When you I when you do that. this, when you surrender all numbers, that OID is going to go away. Forget about it. We do not do forms in the living. We have form. So why would we want to do any of their damn corporate forms? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I understand that, and it's just not me. It's just I have a partner as well, my husband, and trying to get him to understand that. Um I'll tell him to come and see me, and I'll take my baseball bat to him. I'll make him understand. (laughs) Yeah. No, but, you know, uh, he's a W-2 employee. How does that all work in the Social Security? You don't need that anymore, or how would he he go about that? He answered that last question. Okay, here's the answer to that question. Okay? How old is he? He's 52. Okay. He's worked all his life, right? Yep. Okay? When he shuts everything down and turns it all over to the land trust, then he can turn around and in three days' time draw some funds out of it and start making his own damn job. Go out and do what he wants to do. Okay? Okay. Not working for somebody else. Okay. Okay. Set some funds aside and tell Basky to work through the process. Okay. Now, uh, in working through the process, has have you gone from the beginning to the end and, and been able to tap into those funds? Huh? Have you been I able to go through the process? I got the forms up there on the happened? site. Tom posted them last night. As soon as you get your book and page number, if he was in the service, was he? No. Okay. No. He still just got his birthing well, land trust, and well, now he can do. Huh? His situation is this: he was born. His father was in the military, was in the navy. He was born in the Philippines. He has a U.S. birth certificate. Yes. So, what is the process for him? Do I take it to the state level, or go straight to Washington D.C.? What What is the process for him? Because he's different. Because he wasn't born in a county like maybe you or I. To get our authorized, our authenticated birth certificate, what would, would, would be his process? Well, he might have to find out where that one was recorded at. Okay, if he was in the military, he should have been born somewhere in the military uh, land records. Okay. Okay. Birthing land records that are out there, or, or put over into uh, the Washington D.C. recorder's office. Probably the Washington, D.C. recorder's office. Okay. Would be my logical bet. Okay. And they do have a recorder's office there in D.C. Primarily for land records. Alrighty. 
Okay. So Patrick? have you been able to go through this whole pro- process, Patrick? Huh? Have you been able to go through this whole process successfully? That's what I'm working on right now. This was an ongoing effort, okay? I just put my stuff all in today to the postmaster general, to the attorney general, to the inspector general in the treasury. I also copied uh, the U.S. trustee for the federal district that I'm in. I also sent a package to the chief judge in the district that I'm in, the federal district. And then I also sent a copy into Homeland Security, the Secret Service. Pretty much on all those documents that I have posted up there that are I address. Surrendering my Social Security account. Surrendering my certificate of live birth. Surrendering my uh, 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 DD-214. Aliens. I'm surrendering them and telling them to deport them and now to release my American land trust both from my birthing side and also from my military side release the holes, the fraudulent holes that they have by the uh, uh, alien custodian out there which was perpetrated under fraud in trying to make us enemies of the state by putting us down as having a fictitious uh, alien number only for their benefit, not for ours. We have not gotten one damn stinking benefit out of having that damn number. It's been a noose around our neck the whole damn time, and that's not a benefit. Okay? So you either stand up and realize, hey, I want this damn collar off my neck. I'm supposed to be free. What the shit's going on here? Mm-hmm. Well, so if you say, for instance, you've, had, you've got a uh, EINN number to a nonprofit, you would release those. How would you go You're about You're going to give it all them? up. So do we do it all at one time? Is yes. A separate process you give that? it all up, everything, your bank account. You better take all your mm-hmm. funds out of the bank account before you do this. But you surrender that bank account, too. You're not going to have a commercial bank account any longer. Okay. You've got about 25 drawers in your house. Basically, turn them all into safety deposit boxes. <laughs> okay. Okay? Okay. And how long does this, does this process take? Do you have to keep redoing that, or is there... How long does it take for results? What does the Bible say? Death and resurrection. The day or the hour? Death and resurrection. How many days? Three. Yeah. Three. Okay. Need I say more? Okay. Basically, in in the law, it is three days that they, when you shut down this commercial commerce, they have three days to get you back into circulation using lawful commerce. Or they're in violation of the law. But you have to be willing to give up everything, risk losing everything, for three days to be able to have the faith that you're going to get the other at the end of three days. That is what in the Bible was called faith and belief. Okay. Okay? Okay. I can shoot any damn preacher down, shoot him right out of the damn saddle. Damn shitheads. (laughs) Patrick? Yeah. 
um, when we're out of the system, and do we, how do we go to the fire department to reestablish um, fire protection? You go down there and find the chief of the fire department and say, uh, uh, I got a house down here. Uh, basically, uh, how much uh, do you want me for yearly protection? Okay, that's what I wondered, if we had to find some kind of contract with them. No. Basically, okay. you just ask them, how much would it be? Slap down $500 on the table and walk out. Say, okay. basically, we got a contract. And shake. Okay, because I thought we don't we won't want to sign any contracts, so I didn't know how that worked. No, basically handshake. Okay. Honor. Another thing. Honor. Start learning about the word honor. <laughs> right. Not this dishonor out here that basically everybody's running around with. Right. Another thing is if if we had a car accident and somebody sued us or accident on our land or whatever and they want Ms. to say us how do we do that um Ms. Sam. well yeah but if they're not if we're not guilty we go ahead and pay what they want why not no if you're not guilty okay and right. there, it wasn't an accident okay what were they doing on your land right now and if, if, they, if you invited them onto your land Yes, now they are your guests. Now you are liable to take care of them. You go to the land trust and you get the money. Okay, that's why I wondered how that worked. Yeah, you go and basically get the money out of the land trust. If you don't have it in your kitchen cabinet. Okay. Think. And how would we please, how would we please. access that? No, Patrick? no, no, no. I've got the stuff up on the site, okay? You're asking questions and you haven't even looked at this shit yet, okay? I have. I don't understand everything. <laughs> okay, then get on the group and start talking amongst yourselves, okay? Listen to the calls two or three times, each one of them. And look at the documents. See what they're trying to say, okay? It's just like you writing a check out at your bank. It's nothing different. You just got a land bank, a land trust. You need some more cash? You write another one out and submit it in, putting down the reason why you need it. The full faith, the full faith and credit that is in that land trust is at your disposal. Just don't abuse it. The in other trust. words, don't go out and buy Ireland. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that document got up on the uh, website this morning. It's the asset dis disposal and uh, conversion order. For birthing. For the birthing yeah. land trust. And then there's also one up there for the military land trust. Okay, Patrick, I do have another question. And it okay. might sound a little silly, but I mean, if I, once this is all done, and I want to be able to travel in my local area, say to commute children to and from school, etc. Um, you will basically, when these guys come and talk to you, and I've said. What? I think he dropped. But basically, if you read the documents, you will find out that we're asking for a green passport and to be put on the green sheet so we have the equivalent of a driver's license. Okay, all right. You've got, you've got to read the documents and listen to the calls. Okay, I remember the part about the green passport and the green sheet. I didn't, okay, not a problem. I will do that. Okay.
Anything else you want to discuss? I wouldn't leave my kids in public schools or... You said my child was in public school. <laughs> well, I mean any kind of school, really. It's uh, just that because of the indoctrinating system. Sorry. I wasn't well, what, being rude. What, yeah, once, once you're out, you can begin teaching your kids this stuff. I've run into a few people who were were taught this kind of stuff at, at the age of six or eight, and mm-hmm. they really pretty much thoroughly understand the system. So we're, you're at an advantage there as you can straighten that problem out right now. Right. right. Yeah, I'm teaching them as I go along. Um, however, there's, you know, certain things like, very advanced math, et cetera, et cetera, that she does need to go to school for because I can't teach her that. Do you know the Khan Academy? The what academy? Khan Academy, K-A-H-N. It's online. They've got good courses. Also, MIT has courses online. There's a very good 60 Minutes piece, uh, Google, uh, Google 60 Minutes Khan Academy. Okay. But they, yes, they are learning a lot of garbage. There are some schools that teach some things decently, but the other things they screw up. Right. Okay, any more? Yeah, Tom. Hey, I have to listen to one of the other later tapes, but can you... Do you know what the Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades stand for again? Zeus is the god of war. Yeah. Uh, Poseidon is the uh, lord over the ocean and and brings brings justice. That's the attorney general. Yeah. And uh, now Hades. uh, uh, Hades actually is in charge of the chantry because the Hades... The God is in charge of transporting people over to Hades, and you have Sharon who takes the toll for you to get over there. So Hades is hell, and everybody's in hell right now. That's the Inspector yeah. General of the Treasury. Is it Sharon was the one you had to pay the toll to? Yeah. To transport people to Hades, right? And then he said something like Haiti was below the jail, and that was the debtor's prison. Yes, yeah. yeah. And so Zeus, like being the god of war, is kind of like um, the secretary of the state kind of thing. Well, no, he likens him to the postmaster general who uh. has the ability to uh, uh, declare war. Oh, declare war, once, right, if there's no once, commerce. Once commerce days. is interested for three days. Yeah. And that we didn't declare war when the attack on Pearl Harbor for three days because of that. Right. Okay. I got it now. I wrote it down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're in hell until we get out of this. That's right. Tom. Yes. Do we have to send to the send our paperwork to the chief judge and then the chief judge sends it to the senior judge? No, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Uh, that that was, we sent it there when we hadn't latched on to the postmaster general and inspector general. Okay, so the chief we judge will, is out now. We will, we will, no, he just explained. It will probably be around 40, 48, 40 minutes into the call. He, the, the whole list of people that you have to send this to. You copy them. Okay. The U.S. trustee, the chief judge. There were some more I don't remember right now, but I, okay. I, I, I wrote down the time. I'll just listen to it again. Yeah, I wrote down the one. When, when he does things like that, I write down the time so I can go back and get the actual list. Okay, then. Thank you. Okay. What was the time, Tom? For, for around 40 minutes. Okay. It might be a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. 
So I guess I got to get my stuff out tomorrow. But having spent the day preparing the documents to put up there, I know now what's in them, and I can immediately fill in the blanks. All right. You put some new documents on the group site this morning, he said, or this afternoon? Well, I, I put the third, the third version of the third reentry. Uh, I put I put the faxes of them up there yesterday, and I think oh, yeah. I think July I got 4th, the, yeah. the doc version I'm, last I'm night. Him, it may yeah. have been this morning, and and then uh, he has a new uh, a, a document. It's, it's similar to the su- surrender of the birth certificate. But uh, that we're uh, including with the birth entry. Uh, however, it's got some changes on it, and that's what we submit when we fill out one of these disposal orders. Yeah, I guess that, that's disposal. rather than call, yeah, rather than calling them for, for shorthand, instead of calling them money order, let's call them conversion orders. Yeah. That one up there this afternoon, uh, and I, I converted that to a doc format. The, the money orders right now are only in the PDF that he sent me. So I'm, I'm going to make a doc version of that, but you're, you're all perfectly allowed to make your own doc version. And it's actually would prefer that so that you, you learn what's in there by going through the, the tedious agony of, of getting it all straight. It's not agony, but it's no fun. All right, looks like we're set. Okay. Uh, we, we can go over this on the Skype call. Yeah. No. A lot of people have been afraid to talk here or talk on the Skype. If they want to get it done, they're going to have to do that. And we'll we'll keep the Skype group focused on this uh, and no other discussions on that group. Uh, if they they want to chat on other stuff, they go over to the club. Pardon? So anything more? I've kind of read in a couple of different circles that we probably want to get this done before July 21st, by July before July 20th. Just saying. Uh, I think that's a bullshit date. So are you talking part. about that Christine Lagarde video? Well, yeah, hers, and there was like seven others that were um, beneath it. Well, it looks like the event that's per, per, uh, triggering that is the fact that Russia and China will probably make the official uh, decision to open up a bank to to replace the IMF in the World Bank, or at least a decision to do that, somewhere around the 15th to the 18th. Right. Well, Patrick even said, like, you know, last month around the 1st that we probably had one or two months. So it right. kind of fell in line with what he was estimating. So, well, if it's done right, uh, and I'm, I'm working with the people who are trying to do this, that actually would reset the system in our favor. Right. But what, what we really want, we want the banking system in Wall Street to collapse. Right. They're bankrupt anyhow. They're using all our crap. Get them out of here. They're parasites. But wouldn't it be perilous for the people who are left in? Well, of course. In the system? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. the system itself is falling apart. That's part of the movement is to decorporatize all this nonsense. Right. You you might wake up some morning and 
find all the fiction's gone, or may, you may hear it gradually. It depends on how it works. Right. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So, so let, let's get it done. If, what he's saying is, fill out the paperwork, send it in. Let's discuss among ourselves if you have any questions on about it before we send it in, because we're all doing it. Uh, right. And then it should take three days. And all, all the, the worrying questions are immediately solved by getting a big hunk of cash. Right. Because it looks like we'll either have the option of this works or it doesn't work. I don't think there's the option of it. If it doesn't work, they're they're going to come after us because uh, uh, everything as Patrick has done over the years, they haven't touched him. And in fact, he's getting all kinds of indications that he's close and that they can't touch him. And he, he actually verbalized it, I think, yesterday or the day before uh, uh, that they don't want to take him to court because they know he's so close that if he wins the case, uh, their game is over. Right. So right. He can don't. prove the fraud now, too, because they're putting a fraudulent hold on our assets through that alien custody property thing. Right. 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 And they made a foreign, they made a, 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 a counterfeit alien and then declared war on it. Right. That was a surprise to me. I knew the uh, the uh, uh, trading with the enemy act was in place, but I didn't realize this detail of how they actually were using it. I I know when he said that it all came so clear. Like, yeah. Oh, that's that, your deal. That's why you have to. I listened to Sunday night's call twice today, and like you know. If you listen to things once or twice or three times, you hear more each time. It really is helpful. Right. When Patrick was doing his audios, he said he would listen to them two or three times before releasing them. Right. And you have to take a nap in between each time, too, so that you can download or forget your, uh, delete your bad information. Yeah, clear your mind. Right. And in fact, when we prepare our documents, we should read them two or three times before we release them. Have somebody else read them. It sounds funny to say that, but it really does work. Yeah, yeah. Or have someone read them to you. Right. Well, I've been on the call and still listened to the audio a couple of times. Right. So... Well, I've been doing that by by transcribing them, right? And transcribing and trying to, and I have to edit them slightly because when you express something in writing, it's often a little different than the way you do it when speaking. Right. Well, because you have but, to omit all the basically. <laughs> out, out here, yes. Right. Uh, but uh, all, often, Patrick will do. In speaking, what happens to me in writing, I'll begin a sentence one way and end it another. So then you have to go back and we'll go back and repair it. And in fact, most of my typos occur when I didn't re-edit the sentence correctly. Right. Oh, yeah, transcription is a little more complicated. Yep. But yeah. it really, really, really digs into the details. And that's what that's on the transcriptions where I take care to format them and break them into paragraphs so it's it's easy easier one concept after another. Because if when you do that you realize how well Patrick prepared his material. Right. It actually uh, translates into writing quite well even though he's doing it extemporaneously. Right. So you're transcribing them all? Do you need any help with that? I mean, I got some time. I can. Uh, yeah, I, I I need some help. I need, need some help from anybody who can do it. Uh, okay. You know, take a, I'd what, be willing. What was the, you just the, just give me a just assign me a, a call or something and let me know. Just you well, can send it to me in the I, Skype group. 
I think yesterday would be a good one. Let's see, which uh, one did I do last? Let me pull up the record here. Okay, I transcribed uh, 7.3 and 6.28. 6.28? So you need yesterday's. And 6.22. Okay. So you, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do yesterday's then. Okay. I'll get started on that one. I'll work on it tonight. It, it, it probably would be, be good to take a look and see how I did the 7.3. The, the, seven, the three, previous three. ones, right. Right. Uh, how I okay. organized them. What I do is when he makes a reference to the definitions, I go to the document that he's put out with the definitions and put the whole definition this definition in. Right. Unless, unless what he's doing is just quoting the first sentence. And then I go dot, dot, dot after where I drop off. Right. Okay. I'll just follow your format that you have set up already. Yeah. I do it in a text file so I don't have to put up with the nonsense of auto formatting that Word and Open Office do. Right. So it's just like a uh, just a standard text. Right. It's the same name as the call, except it's uh, dot text instead of dot mp3. Okay. Okay. All righty. I'll get working on that now then. And, and I'll send it to you in the Skype group. Okay. And anybody who wants to work on uh, other calls, and just, you know, let's decide them. But I've, I've done three of them so far. I have three? No, I've done four. I've done five. All right. Okay. Well, you need that, a break. So. That's, the way I've been, that's the way I've been learning it. Patrick is right. Uh, I, 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 I haven't gotten to my stuff because I'm doing so much to uh, do this and yeah. get it up on the site. Right. All right. Well, work on your stuff. I'll work on this call um, uh, from last night. I wanted to review it anyway, so this will be good practice for me. Okay. Sure. All right. I'll send it to you in the Skype group. Have Thank a good you. night. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Bye. Well, I guess we're, we're all done then, huh? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Bye. Bye. See you Bye. Thanks, Tom. See you later.